In this lesson, we'll set up and create the internal one flight stair with beam structures. Go to the zero ground floor plan and activate the stair tool. Open the stair default settings dialog. In ARCHICAD, stairs consist of a hierarchical structure of elements and sub element components. Stairs are constructed using various components, which consider a complex set of rules as well as various settings, editable parameters, and geometry. So we'll go step by step through all these hierarchy levels and set up all the necessary parameters. If you'd like to skip to the next step, you can apply the internal stair favorite from the Lesson 13 Favorites folder. First, in the left list, select the topmost hierarchy level and set up the following parameters. Stair Top 1, Gallery. Home Story, Zero Ground Floor. Top Offset to Top Linked Story, Zero. Bottom Offset to Home Story, Zero. Choose Start from Riser. And End with Tread Options. Stair Width, 1200. Number of risers 20, riser height 150, choose fixed going depth, going depth 300, baseline position left, baseline offset 0, set tags as non load bearing element, and interior. Now select the structure level, make sure that the structure checkbox is checked, and choose beam as the flight structure. Leave the landing structure as is because our stair won't contain any landings, so this parameter is not important in this case. Go to the beam flight level, and in the flight structure settings, click on the straight support shape button, then choose profiled flight beam. On the Style and Dimensions page of the Beam Component Settings panel, set 2 as number of beams, and apply the IPE240 profile. On the Secondary Support page, let's change the sizes of the brackets, because some of these we'll use for mounting the railing posts. Set 250 as the length value, and 80 as the width value. Select the Finish level, and make sure that the Finish checkbox is checked. Then choose Tread Finish only. Go to the Tread level, and set the Tread Gap value to zero. In the Tread Component Settings panel, select the Non-Slip Accessory page. Check the Non-Slip Accessory checkbox, and apply Non-Slip Bands then click OK to apply changes and close this dialog. Hover the cursor over the right corner of the door between the entrance area and the main room of the building. Type X300 plus and press Enter. Then press Shift to restrict the cursor movement direction. Move the cursor to the right. And click when the flight contains 20 threads. Now we'll cut a hole in the gallery slab. Open the one gallery floor plan and select the slab. Click on any edge of the slab to display the pet palette and select the subtract from polygon command. Activate the rectangular geometry method and click on the bottom right corner of the stair. Move the cursor up and to the left. Type 6000 as dimension 1, press tab, and type 1220 as dimension 2, press enter. This way we'll make the hole not only above the stair, but below the plaster skin of the exterior wall as well. Hit escape to deselect the slab. 